Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Facts of Nation Fight. This is austria hungary Borders, but with my 1936 starting units. Let's go. And let's continue this. The media, Austria just moves in. Uh, it'll... Oops. The two contenders I think are going to win is Poland, this is Poland by the way, and Italy. They have the most units. This is Austria Hungary in 1886, by the way, if you wanted to know. Looks like the first nation's about to get out. <laughs> Which is weird because I thought Yugoslavia was going to be the first one. They barely had any units, and Italy had 21. Uh, both Poland and Italy had the same amount of units, by the way. Yeah, I think Yugoslavia is still going to be the first one dead. <laughs> Oof. Defeated. My bad. But Italy did lose the draw. Get that out of Mecca, boys. Italy lost. Piece of cake with the whole thing. No way. <laughs> I'm not getting involved. <laughs> oh, yes. Yugoslavia is about to lose everything. Oof. Yep, there goes Yugoslavia. And Yugoslavia still exists. Wow, I did not look up north. Wow. Poland is blotting out. No way. Yeah, I've let every single nation just build up. So, yeah. Budapest has fallen. How have you done this bad, Hungary? Italy actually looks pretty safe in this bottom corner, bottom area. I do think that Italy is actually going to win now because Czech Czechia and uh, Poland have to fight each other, while Italy has only weak neighbors next to each other. Also, every single country started with zero units. If you wanted to know, no nation started with more. Italy and Poland, I think the reason they got so big was because, um, equipment or something. Because Italy had the least population. What is Austria doing? What is this? Why, why did the AI allow this? That's not the sixth time. Though. I don't know what to do. Hungary's actually holding out pretty good. They're losing the capital to Slovakia. Oh, if you like this type of videos and want to see more, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I. Makes my YouTube some chance. Now, if I was a, uh, if I was Poland, I would just vote for Budapest. Like, the yeah, but it's the AI; they don't plan this stuff. <laughs> like, they have an easy opportunity in Poland to take out both Austria and Hungary at the same time. Also, I did not set their focus trees. Also, I, yeah, I got lucky. I'm surprised Hungary didn't go Austria Hungary. <laughs> that would have been funny though. That is... Hmm. Prague is open. They could take every single one of the enemy's capitals except even Romania's. So I think that's really fucked up. Hmm. Hmm. I guess that is a way to put Austria certain games. Yeah, no nation was given the starting bonus, so whatever troops they got, they got. Let's see how many casualties this has taken. Yeah. 
I'm so surprised how soon Hungry has got off. Deanna's door will open. What? Do you not see that? Deanna is literally open. They can take it whenever they want, and they can fill the seat with ice cream. Like, I'm sorry, what? Finally, somebody has done something. Oh yeah, this video was recorded before the Gute Damrun uh, came out. This is recorded on before we know what Belgium's focus team is in the game. I'm excited for Gute Damrun, especially since I get to update my German Battle Royale video. Let's go! That in the German states was uh, only previously unlocked by um, just I don't know. Oh wait, oh, I think Austria is falling. Oh no, this puts Czechia right on the border of Italy. That's crazy. That is very, very crazy. Finally, oh, oh there we go. Oh dang, Italy took it. I'm so surprised. Yet again, the AI that ignores all of this. Wow, they're actually doing something about it. Nice. Ooh, check is losing cores. Oh, did Austria hunt? Oh, man. When did Hungary get this northern border? This northern area there is. Mm -hmm. Berno is literally open. That takes away back in the ass. Looks like Poland's trying to push towards Prague. Hungary's gonna go fall, I know it. I can't wait for Hungary to fall. How is every single nation that's in it not doing anything against it? Every single nation is against Hungary, and yet they're still standing. And still have a save. Hmm. Oh, Armenia's making a push. So I was hungry. Saki like has house to be secured. Let's see how long that lasts. How is Hungary pushed everybody back? They don't even have troops on their border, on the capital yet. Oh wait, oh, 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 oh. So it looks like when the AI loses more territory, they just send uh, troops back to the capital and uh, victory points. Nice to know, nice to know. How does... How do they have the SCP in your... No other nation has planes for this country. <laughs> Yeah, why does Hungary have the biggest fleet? Let's see. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah what, what, huh? What, what? This must be in focus too or something. There's no way. There is no way that Hungary has all every single plane on the map. They'll start with them. 
Why doesn't Italy have a Romania just gone? Yeah, that's a good call. Man, I I never got these four five. Yeah, these five would hold out the longest. I expected Slovakia and Austria to fall quick. But Hungary? And then Romania, I thought it would be like a big upset here. But not this much. Austria just. <laughs> I hate myself for this. Why? Why do I keep calling Techie of Austria? <laughs> Is Italy actually about to lose? Italy only has gold on these few provinces, so if any enemy gets inside them, they lose. Oh, I think the Italian one that has gone. How many troops do they got? 18. Still no problem. I still can't put that. Why? Why? Why did Hungary still some planes? Take the capital by that. If nothing else, come on. Okay. I don't see any AI do this. This strategically falling back. That's actually good to know. <laughs> Man. If I saw them bicycle units, I would be sitting with them here too. <laughs> no wonder they're not taking Zagreb. <laughs> Prague is gonna fall, maybe. Yeah, we've been close in. Bro, this one unit has a dream. I was about to say Turkish tanks, what is going on? <laughs> oh, Budapest is falling. Oh, there we go. There goes off the Italian troops. Spreading them around. They're on the doorstep of Prague. Oh, they have to do just once, and they're gone. Pog's gone. Oh, I think Romania's gone too. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, all it took was hungry, and Poland can do something. You know, maybe we misjudge Poland too much. I'm just gonna put that out there. They're doing pretty well against everybody else down here including Italy but let's be honest I don't think Italy, World War II Italy counts as being a competent nation so they're doing pretty well against from making it check here <laughs> <laughs> well never mind they slept it <laughs> they're about to get encircled up here yes I'm playing Bhutan again against that nation it's just that guy they could take it to the state. I think Romania is about to die. About to die. be defeated. Yeah, they're being beaten back. The moment this fall to they uh, surrender. Pretty good. The the moment yeah, this the encircling frog. They just nearly cut off the English Slovakian troops. <laughs> I guess the Republic of uh, Czech Austria. Did 
the upset of the century. Oh, and Italy did not expect this. Oh, no. Oh, man. I, I think it's the Italians that is that other end uh, Romania. So they don't. I think they have the area. I just haven't targeted the capital. Like, they know the capital is not. There's no troops that they don't target it. Oh, there goes Romania. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, here it all comes down. The Battle of the Giants. The two only great powers in uh, former Austrian territories. Uh oh. Dead. Italy's not using the strength. Oh, they attacked. Oh, no. Oh, Mussolini might get uh, the uh, thing where he's overthrown by the coup. If he gets overthrown by the coup, Poland still wins, even if they didn't defeat him fully. Oh man. They have to go to uh, Venice. No. Oh, <gasps> Venice has fallen. Balazano is the last city. No way. Italy. Are you for you? Which I think he has. Ah, oh, dang. That's sad. It's not sad. Congrats, uh, Poland. You're the official best nation that, uh, will win in 36. Uh, the Austrian, Austrian Civil War in spite of 1936 with 1936 wars. Weird title. Congratulations, Poland. I think you deserve it. And thanks for great fun while I end up this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you all uh, will want to watch more videos by me. Um, and if you do, just make sure. Or just at least watch it a little bit. You don't have to like and subscribe. It's just something that uh, tells other people that might be interested in my content. Hey, this channel's making good content. So yeah, uh, with that, uh, I will see you all, hopefully, in another video. Goodbye.